Hello and welcome to episode 5 of the Human Comedy 1 Hour Endurance Race Series. Today we're focusing on the Deep Forest Raceway. My chosen car for this was the Toyota 86 Group 4 car. The upgrades for this car are pretty limited. I was able to purchase the fully customizable computer, the fully customizable LSD, the racing silencer, brake balance controller, brake racing kit, fully customizable suspension. For our strategy, we're looking at a one stop strategy. We're going to pit around lap 18, 19 for our new tyres and we're going to refuel till we have about 20 laps of fuel. To start this race, you're going to be able to make up quite a few places, predominantly in sector one, mostly because the cars do go quite slow around here and you can break a lot later than them. As we do have a moment there, get bumped by the Suzuki Sport, but we end up getting saved by the BMW behind us. Now the only downside to using this car is that the top speed is not that great so as long as you're in the slipstream behind you should be able to keep up. And just like I said before you can break a lot later than them and we managed to make up three positions off one corner. One thing you also need to be aware of is track limits as you can get quite heavily penalised for going off track. As you can see here, I go off track slightly there and I do pick up myself a two and a half second penalty. Like I mentioned before, this car really struggles with top speed compared to the other cars that you're racing against, but it does make up in all other areas of this track. Coming out that left hander we have a gap over the car behind us of about 8 tenths but he closes that gap and gets alongside us by the end of the straight. As we get further on in the race you will come up against lapsed traffic, just need to be mindful that they usually won't get out of the way at the earliest convenience so sometimes you can go around them, sometimes you can't. One place that is really easy to pick up a penalty is this left hander just before the long back straight. If you get your braking zone wrong, you really easily go off track there and this will give you a half second penalty every time. So just be mindful of this. At the end of this straight, coming into this sharp hairpin, whilst I'm really aggressive on this McLaren here, it's a really good overtaking spot because the cars do brake quite early and obviously you can brake a lot later than them. We are actually going to pit on this lap as well, around the halfway mark. So we're going to put on some new tyres and refuel. One thing that I've made a huge mistake on is that I didn't refuel enough. I refueled to about 18 laps, but I should have refueled to about 20. So when you're doing this, make sure you refuel to about 20 laps as well and you won't have to fuel save at the end. So now we'll just run through my fastest lap. When we're approaching turn one, our breaking point is going to be about 125 metres just before we get to this red and white curbing. When we get to these S's, we're going to utilise as much curbing as possible. Just be mindful of track limits. As I've already explained, you will pick up hefty penalties here. We're going to be lightly dabbing on the brake just to get the car slowed down. And that is the same for this sweeping right-hander here. For the upcoming left-hander, we'll brake just as we go over the curbing on the right-hand side. And then for the following left-hander, you can see where there's a change of tarmac. We're braking as we get on that tarmac, and we're going down into second, hit the inside apex, 
Try not to go too wide here. You can use the curb on the right hand side, but don't go too wide because you pick up a penalty. And for the final hairpin, we're breaking just as we go under the sign and just before we get to the red and white curbing on the right hand side. You can stay in second gear here, but I prefer to go down into first. And there we have it, the fastest lap of the race, which is a 130.0, and it also puts us in the lead of the race as well. We've now skipped forward to lap 35, we've got just over four minutes left, and again this seems to be a running theme of these videos where I don't fuel enough, so we need to alter the fuel map again to ensure that we have enough fuel to finish the race. We do have uh, quite a significant gap to second place, we are quick through the first sector of the track, so we should be okay. This was one lap later where I realised that I'm still not going to have enough fuel, so we increase the fuel map once again and put it up to 5. We're now on the final lap of the race, about to start the back straight, and we've got a gap of about 1.6, 1.7 seconds to second place. But as we know, this car doesn't have the greatest top speed, so this time is just coming down and down and down, so we really need to be mindful that we don't lose out here because we don't want to have to do this race again and waste an hour of our lives. We do go slightly deep into this final hairpin and we miss the apex, but we're able to increase that gap to the car behind by just a little bit and this is just enough to get us to win the race. As you're going to see in a second, we've saved just enough fuel and this is so important end up winning this race by just over a tenth of a second. My heart was absolutely racing at this point and I was really worried that I was going to finish second right at the death. But all that can be avoided if you just refuel those extra few laps when you pit. For coming first in this race you will earn yourself 1.2 million credits. And there we have it, gold on Deep Forest Raceway. There are three more one hour comedy missions to go. On the left is a link to all the Gran Turismo 7 missions and on the right will be a link to the next one hour video when it's posted.